What's going on guys? I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1 Fracture. So basically uh, what it comes down to is there was a big Fortnite tournament. They mentioned that there is going to be a Chapter 4. So the Chapter 3 final event is gonna be happening December 3rd at 4 p.m. Which is pretty cool. This is official news. This is 100% real. And on top of that, we got extra information on what's going to be coming in the next upcoming season, so to speak, because it's next chapter and season. And that's going to be happening again on December 3rd, which will roll into January, obviously, because we're not going to get another like season as soon as it starts, right? So this is something that was officially tweeted, uh, starting right off with Hypex tweeting at Twim Sweeney, which is the CEO of Epic. So he asked, is UEFA? So that's the creative 2.0. That's where we're going to get the big, huge update for Fortnite that everyone's super excited about. Tim Sweeney actually said, sorry, folks, the team is still working super hard, but the Unreal Ender for Fortnite has been delayed to late January 2023. So not going to happen. No, not going to happen. <laughs> That's more than likely going to be either season two of chapter four, which again, that's probably unlikely. It's probably going to be happening in the next season. So that's going to be really cool mid season to get this big, huge update. And on top of that, we're getting another chapter as well. Another one. So not only are we get a new chapter, but the new creative 2.0 is going to be coming out. So this is official by the CEO of Epic. So that's some official news. Now we're going to go ahead and dig into what is kind of to be expected stuff that they've been working on stuff to expect in maybe season one, two, or three of the next chapter, or maybe they're gonna be saving it for later down the line. So starting right off, I wanna talk first about first person mode. People have been talking about this for a long time. I'm not sure why they haven't implemented it in yet. It seems like it's just a simple change, uh, but at the same time, maybe they tested the first person mode out and it's just not going to be something that we will ever get. It just somehow doesn't work for the game. They don't think it's gonna fit the play style because if you think about it, there's just so many different modes that you play, right? We have solos, duos, whatever. And then what are we gonna do? We are going to build a great border wall. Are we gonna make it so you can just go into first person mode in the mode, in any mode, right, for Fortnite? Or are we going to be making it so there is a separate playlist? Like, so there's solos, duos, there's zero build, and we have like, those modes, but then on top of that, you get to choose if you want to play first person or third person. So it may split up the player base too much. There's a lot of other games that I play like, you know, Path of Exile, where we have like soft core, hardcore, solo, self found. It splits the player base up too much, right? And so for that reason, maybe we won't be getting that uh, ASAP, but that's something that is something that they've been working on, at least in the files, they've been talking about it. I've seen a lot of content creators just uh, mention it again and again. The other thing I want to talk about next is actually the motorcycle. So as far as we know, in terms of motorcycles, They've been working on motorcycles for quite some time. This was actually in earlier in June. They've actually uh, mentioned that some things were found in the files and found out that there is going to be a motorcycle and you can boost on it. My guess originally when seeing the riding the boar animation, because that got leaked a while back and people were thinking that that was like the riding the motorcycle animation, which- Bruh. I'm just riding on my bike. Honestly, are, are motorcycles going to be changing up the game that much? I really don't think so. If you think about it, at the end of the day, what's the difference between a boar and a motorcycle? I'm talking about like in Fortnite, right? There's probably not going to be that much of a difference in terms of like what you can do. However, this over here mentioned that it has two seats, plus you can boost and drift. So, I mean, obviously you can't really boost with the boar, but you can like run with the boar and you can hit people. But at the end of the day, it's kind of the same thing. Unless we can put a cow catcher on top of the motorcycle, then that would be kind of cool. Just cool. Now I want to talk about the um, surfboards, because this is something that was actually shown off in a while back. It probably has the same animation as the hoverboard, so it wouldn't be that much work to get a surfboard. But are we going to have waves? I don't know. I don't know. Like, what's the point of a surfboard if you just... You go in the water, right? And you can maybe shoot some people while you're riding it. I don't know. It, I just feel like it wouldn't change up gameplay that much. One thing that wasn't mentioned in this post is I remember for a while we had uh, some people come out and say that there's going to be certain attachments coming out into Fortnite, right? Where you can add certain attachments like maybe a different like muzzle, like a suppressor or some sort of thing for like your weapons to either increase accuracy, make it silence. You can have different grip tapes. I'm sure some of you guys have probably played Call of Duty before or any other like first person shooter there's always these little attachments you can put on guns and i think that fortnite could benefit from that that would be really cool to see you know just having things drop uh, like an apex legends but like more than just like 
Uh, in Apex Legends, you have like the scope, that matters the most, but usually it's just like whatever's the higher rarity for like the grip and the stock, right? Where we can do different things. Maybe we can aim down sights and go a little faster. Like I'm looking forward to those kinds of things for uh, chapter four, but this isn't actually mentioned in this post, unfortunately. This was Hypex. He's probably one of the best leakers to really look at in terms of like what's coming up. And then they also mentioned rideable flying animals this could be pretty crazy you'd definitely uh, be needing a completely new chapter for this so if it's not in the beginning of like let's say chapter four uh season one then it's probably maybe chapter five because a rideable animal kind of needs some sort of a theme i'm thinking like maybe like dragons maybe some griffins some sort of high fantasy theme or perhaps they're saving it for some sort of like movie collabs fortnite obviously does you know collabs with a lot of different things in terms of movies and video games so it'd probably be themed around something which would be kind of cool to see what they do with flying animals like maybe they can have dragons and you can like breathe fire i don't know i think that this leads to maybe something that might be a little bit too op maybe they'll have like a special ltm for it to make it a little bit more balanced and there's also a new cosmetic type mentioned here so as far as like the new cosmetic type uh i'm not sure what this could be other than the one thing i can think of that would actually generate them revenue that a lot of games have that fortnite doesn't have is actually a like weapon charm i'm sure some of you guys have maybe seen like overwatch let me just look type this in overwatch uh weapon charm i should have had this for the video but like in overwatch there's like these little weapon charms that you can put on your weapons and i'm sure a lot of other video games have this as well right where uh you get to basically put on like a weapon charm like there's things that you can unlock in games and basically you can put on any one of your weapons it's basically just a skin at the end of the day but that would be something that i could see being introduced into fortnite because again people would want to buy these little weapon charms right but on top of that uh, we already mentioned the unreal editor this was already confirmed this is not coming out at the launch of it but of course uh you know throughout season one that would be something to come out now another thing i want to mention is skateboards i remember i was i was actually able to see some like gameplay i don't know if it was real or not sometimes people are really good with faking content but i saw some video i tried to look it up it was a skateboard video it looked very real but again sometimes people are really good with this really good there technically were skate parks i think in uh season two for this chapter there were skate parks all over the map but we couldn't ride a skateboard. But what's interesting is I went back and I'm like, when's the last time we had the hoverboard? Like I already have gameplay of this. If you guys want to see the gameplay, hey, I'll, if I remember, I'll pin it in the comments, but we had rideable hoverboards, but we haven't had these be reintroduced into the game in a super, super, super long time. So maybe we will get hoverboards uh, back into the game. But if you think about it, the skateboard and the hoverboard would be very similar, right? So like, why not just add the skateboard? Maybe we could do some tricks on the skateboard, kind of like if you guys played like Tony Hawk, I think that that would be really awesome for them to reintroduce the hoverboard in some sort of a way. But uh, like, like I said, oh, you know, I actually, I pulled up the, this was, I believe in like uh i guess this was posted like three months ago there were skate parts that existed in fortnite so i'm wondering are they going to be introducing skateboards uh what else do you guys think that they will actually introduce uh most of those things like i said all the things that i'm mentioning there's files inside of the game or things that have came out that would be these things coming out into the future but again we'll have to wait and see when they actually release some of these things but that's the information that i'm aware of if there's anything that you guys felt like i missed out on definitely let me know in the comment section below because i love seeing what uh, you know fortnite adds to the game because they're always adding some crazy stuff but hopefully chapter four will add something completely new to the game that will totally blow our mind because if you were to tell me Fortnite was gonna add zero builds, I probably would have said, that's definitely cap. That's cap. <laughs> Taylor knew that. That's cap. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and do wanna see more new Fortnite and other gaming videos, subscribe to the bell and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and I'm out, peace.